Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gurbuz. Welcome to my video. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to conduct regression analysis using SPSS. So, what does it mean regression? Let's start with the definition of regression. Regression is a basic and commonly used type of predictive analysis. The overall idea of regression is to does a set of predictive variables or independent variable do a good job in predicting an outcome or dependent variable. And second purpose of the regression analysis is to figure out which variables in particular are significant predictors of the outcome variable. Okay? For example, by using regression, we can predict our sales from advertising. Yeah? So the regression is a one step forward of correlation so there are some important differences between correlation and regression in correlation we have relationship actually uh, our variables move together on the other hand in regression one affects the other which means we try to focus on the cause and effect relationship among the variables. Okay? In correlation, variables are not designed as dependent or independent variable. But in regression, yes, they are. One variable is dependent and the another variable is independent. Okay? And in correlation, data are represented in a single point. But in regression data represented by line, we call it regression line. Correlation indicates the extent to which two variables move together. On the other hand, regression indicates the impact of a unit change in the known variable, which is x, on the estimated variable, which is y. So, correlation does not make any prediction for us. But regression enables us to make some prediction about the dependent or outcome variable. So those are the basic differences between the correlation and regression analysis. Okay. So uh, we have uh, basically two types of regressions. Sometimes we conduct simple regression analysis. Sometimes we conduct multiple regression analysis. If, if we have only one predictor in analysis, we call it simple regression analysis. If we have more than one predictors in order to estimate or predict our y variable or outcome variable, then we call it multiple regression analysis. Okay? In this video, I'm going to mainly concentrate on simple regression analysis linear simple regression analysis okay so let's say this is our research question can students efforts in learning statistics predict their grades let's say this is my research question and i'm gonna uh, calculate how my uh, efforts in learning predict my dependent variable which is grades in statistics so i have the first variable okay at first in learning statistics it's a kind of composite variable it consists of some parallel items and it takes value between one and seven okay and also as the second variable we have the statistics grades okay measured at racial level and it takes value between zero and ten so the first variable which is efforts actually is my you know x variable or predictor or independent variable okay my second variable which is statistics grade will be my y variable or outcome or dependent variable okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna calculate i'm gonna conduct regression analysis whether my efforts on learning statistics which is predictive variable Okay, predict my outcome variable, which is statistics grades. Okay, so to do that, let's go to the uh, let's uh, jump to the SPSS. 
and see how can we conduct regression analysis. So first of all, let's see those two variables are my focus of variable, okay? So this is effort, which is predictor variable, and the second one, which is, you know, statistics grades, okay? So in order to conduct a simple regression analysis in SPSS, first of all, I need to go analyze, then a regression, on the regression, I should find the linear because I'm going to conduct linear regression. Okay, so click linear, then a window pops up. Okay, I should find my dependent variable, which is statistics, uh, statistics grade. I should move my variable to the dependent list in here. Okay, then I should find my predictor or independent variable, which is effort. I should move effort to the independence window here okay then if you want you can also select just click the statistics and you can select for example descriptive statistic maybe you know necessary for you but in this case we will not select any of them okay just leave them as they are okay then you will do only click the okay okay just click the okay and you will get these results so I have model summary, I have ANOVA table, and I have a, a coefficient table. Okay, so I will copy all these output to the PowerPoint. That will be easy for us to interpret. Okay, so let's go to do my PowerPoint. Okay, so those are the my output from SPSS. Let's uh, first of all look at the table two, which is ANOVA table. So uh, when you conduct a regression analysis, first of all you should you know take a look at the second table which is ANOVA table okay so in ANOVA table as you see we have a you know SIG value which is significant which is uh, lower than my alpha level which is 0 0.05 as you see okay it means that my linear regression model is significant okay so my model works okay and then you should take a look at the first table which is model summary table which one in this table uh, particularly you should pay attention to the adjusted r square okay this value actually show how the predictor variable accounts for the dependent variable okay so in this case i can say that my predictor variable which is efforts in learning okay accounts for the 14.3 percent of the variation in dependent variable or outcome variable which is uh, statistics grades okay so 14.3 uh, percent of the variation in my outcome variable okay in grades okay is depend on my predictive variable okay which is efforts in learning okay and then we should look at the last table which is coefficients table okay so the first issue that we should look at it constant what is that constant just remember from our regression equation so constant means b0 which is the intercept of y variable okay and then you will see the effort here and we have a unstandardized uh, beta coefficient okay which is b1 okay so it is the change in dependent variable or outcome variable for a, a unit a one unit change in the predictive variable okay in other words uh, when you increase the your predictive variable one unit okay then you will get a change at your you know dependent variable with the 0.455 variation okay we call it b1 okay and then we have you know uh, standardized version of b1 or z score of b1 we call it beta okay so it is also 0 0.389 okay so also you will see the sig that shows the predictive variable which is my efforts in learning how significantly predict the dependent variable okay so in this case i can say that efforts in learning 
okay significantly predicts the my outcome variable which is statistics rate okay so how can i report all this kind of information based on apa style it is easy guys okay first of all i should say regression analysis was conducted to test the hypothesis showing that the regression model is significant because i have a significant ANOVA results yeah then it revealed that 14.3% of the variance in grades can be explained by the variance in efforts. Okay, so efforts in learning significantly predict statistics grades, and I should provide my beta values. Okay, so let's see where this kind of value comes from, which table. Okay, so as you see, I use some values from ANOVA table, model summer table here, and also for the beta i use the coefficient values okay also additionally you can also provide some regression equation for this linear model so my regression equation will be like that a linear regression equation is generated as grades equal 3.99 plus 046 multiply efforts these values you know come from this table for example remember that i have a constant which is 3.99 okay here plus 0 0.46 which come from here and then multiply efforts this is my regression equation for some prediction okay also guys uh, for your own research you can also uh, add a table okay regression table for your own study for example a typical regression table should be like that for your own study okay just put the name of the table your variable to the left hand column and then you should write here your unstandard coefficient and then standard error from here and you should also add your you know z-score of beta or standardized version of beta okay and then of course you should put some asterisks here okay and then you can also add notes small notes at the under the table okay so that's all guys thank you for your attention see you on the next video